miles away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you off drinking in the fields. I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You called psychic, Paul? Either that or I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. Seems more the likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. That should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is, there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of the truth. him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is absolutely disgusting and completely <laughs> unbelievable. It's getting late. Guess we're not going to see uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Good night, son. Don't stay up reading too late.
You okay, old man? You don't look so good. Get my gun. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Son of a bitch, stop! <laughs> Finally, welcome everybody to my new project. This is Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, which was generously sent in to me by uh, a friend and subscriber of the channel, H. Um, this is a game that I've actually wanted to play for, well, since it came out, actually, and uh, due to time and many other factions, this one slipped me by. Um, however, he uh, offered to give it to me the other day, and lo and behold, it turned up at my door, uh, with a bottle of ginger wine as well, um, and some uh, a bottle of Scottish tap water. Don't ask, little uh, in thing that we have going on here. Apparently, Scottish water. I say don't ask, and then I explain it. Huh. Scottish water apparently tastes better than Cornish water. Um, can confirm. I don't know. I don't know if it's better or worse. It's different. It's definitely different, but there we go. I also thought it was quite funny that the, uh, the ginger wine that arrived to my house, Scottish ginger wine from from Scotland, arrived in a Danish bottle. Again, complicated. Anyway, <clears throat> I've wanted to play this game for a long time. Red Dead Redemption was one of my favourite games on the 360. Um, a lot of people just, you know, a lot of people have a lot of love for this game, but a lot of people also just say it's like GTA, but in the Old West. But for me, it was something so much more. It was a special game that came out in a special time in gaming. And um, it hasn't actually been rivaled. Um, I still prefer it to a lot of the GTA games, even now. And uh, I, for one, am very excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, the zombie mode that they added in, the zombie DLC, is quite well known for being one of the best DLC packs ever made. So, uh, without further ado, let's put our uncle down. My god, John, it's been a while. It's been almost a decade since I've made your acquaintance. Let's have some fun. Hey, oh god, the control the, the controls are so stiff. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. Right. Put Uncle out of his misery. I can do that. Kind of. Hang on. There we go. Stay there, Uncle. Uncle, stop moving, please. There we go. Woo! Best thing that could have happened to him. If you ask me. That's not uh not good. Okay, darling. You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack, get out here now! Oh, good lord, what's happened? Uh, oh, Uncle got a bit bitey. Oh. Ooh. Now Mama's getting a bit bitey. Stay right there, the pair of you. Don't make me know where to her now. I think it might be a little bit late for that, John. Also, John Marston, one of the best characters in gaming. Ooh. Ooh, she's got a rather delicious uh, colour there. I do like pale ladies, I've got to be honest. Pale skin. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, hell. Lasso and Hogtie Abigail. Uh, okay, well. Uh, let's start this. This is getting a little bit um, <clears throat> questionable, but okay. Half-witted son. Okay, right. So we've hogtied the wife. Now let's go hogtie the son. This is parenting 101, guys. You can learn a lot from this man. What is going on here? 
I have no idea, John, but I think we have a zombie outbreak on our hands. Just saying. Well, a zombie child. We're going to treat him like a zombie child. Ooh. You don't notice these guys feel a little bit cold? Then, ooh, ooh, she's, uh, ooh. Feisty. Ooh, she's feisty. Ooh. Now who's serving the poison? Although that looks pretty good. Nice T bone steak. Now, I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick, crazy bastards, or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. <laughs> Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. Probably just the fever. Seriously, John, probably just the fever. I think that's wishful thinking. There we go. There's the John Master we know and love. Oh, hello. Okay. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. Was that was that a known character? I can't remember. It looks quite distinctive. Find help in Blackwater. Ah yes, now that was a Denneville repute. Let's see if I can remember. Warhorse. So we've got a three star warhorse. Okay. What else do we have? We've got the Cattleman Revolver, which is garbage, from what I remember, and a double-barreled shotgun, which isn't going to be brilliant against armies of the undead. However, I suppose it worked out pretty well for, um... Oh, what was his name? Ash in Army of Darkness, so... Who knows? Right, come on, my friend. Let's go. Got to try and remember. Hold to run. Uh, to run, hold. To sprint, tap, the Okay. Press... Up to whistle for your horse. Your horse will come. Excellent. I like it when the horse actually does what you're told. I've forgotten how good it feels to ride these horses. To spare your horse and move faster. Tap A. If you hold A, your horse will maintain its current speed. There we go. It's been a while. Quite a while. Nearly a decade. When galloping, you can get a short burst of speed by tapping A. This will temporarily reduce your horse's stamina. And if you spur too much, your horse may buck you off. I remember that. Oh, the broken, broken tree. Horse stamina is represented by the bar on the left of your radar. Yep, the blue one. I know. I know. Let's just cane this horse. Let's go, boy. We need a name for our horse. Let's call him Sparkles. Right, to mount your horse, approach it and push Y. Yep. Come on, Sparkles. Let's go. Let's go find some zombies. Find out what the hell's going on around here. To continue the undead nightmare, go to the U on your radar. I got you. Here we are. Blackwater. The hell's been going on here? And wasn't it one of the bumpers to slow down or something? Let's find out. You can place waypoints with A on the territory map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that much. Ooh. Ooh. What's up, boy? Or girl? Sparkles would probably be a girl's female horse's name. We're going to hell. Ooh. We're all going to hell. Well, that sounds like my kind of place. You know, it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven, ladies and gentlemen. Think of that when uh, choosing your life choices. Well, this place is deserted. This place is extremely deserted. I don't know if there's like any collectibles to grab or anything. Although, I'm not really going for a completionist run or anything like that. This is just like a casual game. However, I know there are some wild animals to collect. Um, like there's a unicorn, there's the chupacabra. Oh, hello. It's me. Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research. <laughs> okay. The whole hell is quite literally broken loose. Ooh. What is going on? Well, sir, I'm a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> well, 
Ain't that dandy. <laughs> well, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors. Sounds close, Find a cure. Or fight to the death trying. Well, well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy. But, but I, I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I I'm a see. scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? That's true. Like. I'm sure you would, Professor. Very impressive, Professor. I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. But, no, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my. <laughs> <laughs> wait, um. We should stay with me, Professor. That doesn't sound like a wise choice. Oh no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. Oh, that's uh, good. I my stuff with Mr. Nastas. Uh, you remember him, uh, Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but uh, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. Mm. A couple of minutes. Uh, okay, you've got two minutes, Buster, and then I'm at top oh, here. Well, well, that went about as well as uh, as well as it could have, I guess. Poor fellow. Hey, buddy. You don't look so good. However, I'd imagine, from what I remember of the main game, your IQ has actually increased. You've increased dead eyes during Undead Nightmare. Use this wisely. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. This place crawls. Bollocks. Now, how. Oh, hello. How tough are these zombies? That's what we need to know. Oh, we don't have a lot of ammo, though. Which is problematic. Oh, man. Coming out of the woodwork. Shit. Oh. Oh. These guys are everywhere. Let's save the shotgun. Undead with ammo belts. Oh, God. You can walk into things very easily. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, we really don't have enough ammo. Christ, how many of these guys is there? Way too many would be the would be the answer. So is there limited zombies or do they just infinitely spawn? Damn it to hell. That's what we need to know. Shotgun ammo, that's nice. Now it's only Yeah. Seth. Oh, Seth was the Oh shit on a shovel. All right. What should I say zombies on a shovel? One of the two. Okay. This has been ugly for a while, John. That's okay. That's why we're here. Oh. One of you chaps have ammo? You. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Otherwise, we're going to be literally out of ammo. Which is not good. You know. We don't have any kind of melee either, which is awkward enough. Oh, God. Hello, love. Sorry. Didn't want to do that. But, uh, you know, needs must when the devil drives. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, there are some mythical creatures to find in this game. And I certainly want to find them. I know you can get the four horses of the apocalypse, which sounds really cool. Ooh, it's quiet. Too quiet. And there's a unicorn as well, I believe. Hello. Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't bite. <laughs> Bad joke. I mean... Poor taste, John. Poor taste. Become a family, mister! And mine, I fear. I saw my mom rip my daddy's face off and drink his blood. Ooh, nasty. And they were happily married 20 years. 
I'm oh. sorry. We were so glad to see my mom. Because she's been dead for three years from the smallpox. Hey, wait, what? Your mama was dead? I saw her walk up onto the porch. Well, that's not good. He wasn't a bad man, mister. He weren't. Sure, he liked to drink, but, but he weren't bad. And oh, I believe you. Sure, he liked the company of women, but he weren't bad, mister. He weren't. Don't we all? No one deserves to have their blood drunk. No. He knew how to use his fist. And if, if a woman spoke out her place, he her mother uh -oh. and everything. And when my mama was dying... Said that he was lying with her sister, but that weren't true, Mr. Uh, yeah, he he doesn't sound so good. Yeah, her and Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year, and then yesterday he walked up that street eating dogs, and he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, Mister. Yeah. They ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. Yeah, you could folk, say that. Folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. Cemetery, huh? My God. I want to go have a look. Mm hmm. I think we order. I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister. Take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. I miss. See my uncle Mordecai. Burn him. Burn him real good, you hear? Okay, so you had bad uncle experience. I can relate. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, we got a torch. Burn the bodies and clear the undead at the Blackwater Cemetery. We're not going to be slitting any zombies' throats, uh, John. There's no point. But we are going to burn them to a crisp. For science. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go visit the graveyard. Um, where's Sparkles? There's Sparkles. Hey, pal. Oh, God. Have some fire before you tear my face off and wipe your ass with it, which wouldn't be overly good. Right, let's go, Sparkles. Yeah, we got some burning to do. We shall cleanse this holy ground. These diabolical fiends. Or something like that. Alright, come on Sparkles. Keep coming, buddy. There we go. You got plenty in the tank. Burn the coffin. Alright. You're going to be burning the coffin. Right, stay there Sparkles. I'll be back in a minute, buddy. Uh, okay, that was weird. Yeah, the movement and the controls are going to get some... You take getting used to. Um, it's extremely sluggish to control. Um, but you know, that, that's the way the old uh, Rage Engine games were, I suppose. GTA 5 was really, um, yeah, coming from GTA 5 and going back to this is quite something. <clears throat> and the dead zones on the control pad are crazy. You have to like almost turn the analog stick, well, move the analog stick a good quarter before the screen starts moving. But these these are the the issues of playing an old game. I am sure we shall acclimatize. All right, let's burn this coffin. Oh, hello. What can I do you for, fella? Uh, sparkles. Don't don't go near the zombies, sparkles. They're a bad sort. Damn it! Come on, come on. Let's see that head. There we go. While your weapon is drawn, yeah, activate Deadeye. Yeah, baby, I know it. So what? Oh, we've got more. You can lock onto multiple targets. Take them out quickly whilst aiming Deadeye. One shot can be fired with each bullet in your gun. Damn it! Game, I'm trying to read tutorials. Honestly. So kills and headshots will fill the meat. Yeah, because it regens, but I remember. What do you mean it didn't go well? We're kicking ass and taking names, John. That's what it's all about. Having said that, John, our ammo supplies are not great. 
In fact, we're down to our last few bullets here. Whoa, you're a quick one. Oh god, they're literally just piling out of the graves. That's okay. There's also some weird, like, analog stick acceleration thing going on. Uh, what the hell are you? Oh, that's Mordecai! Haha, <laughs> Mordecai! Oh god! Um, execute. Shit, shit! Let's get out of here, John. John, run. John, you're not listening. Listening. I said run, pal. Whew! Right. You're gone. You're gone. Come on, you undead bastards. Let's do this. Are you ready, John? Stack them up. Who wants uh, Mr. Mordecai? Oh, God. Uh, sparkles. Oh, thanks, Sparkles. You do me a favor there, buddy. Oh, man. Finding their heads is so hard. Bruiser undead are tough but slow. Oh, they will occasionally charge. Yeah, so I can see. Hey, buddy. One in your head? Is that enough, or do you want some more? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's going to take some serious getting used to. Ah, okay, cool. What did you have, Mr. Mordecai? Hopefully not just uh, syphilis. Alright, let's burn these corpses. Thanks, Sparkles. You really saved my ass back there. I owe you one. Oh, we get ammo for these guys. Why are, you, why are you losing your patience, John? We're refilling our ammo. What else have we got here? More ammo? Give me some bullets. Ooh, loads of shotgun ammo. Shotgun. How much shotgun ammo have we got now? 24 shells. Not too shabby. Alright, well, we'll take that. Alright, let's fry these uh, coffins. Let's continue the cleansing. The Lord's work shall be done. Excellent. We need to be walking around with a Bible in hand, I think. Although, that would probably burn my skin, so... Ooh, repeater carbine. Very nice. Blackwater graveyard cleansed. Hey, I work in the cleansing trade. Except, street cleansing. I can relate to you, John. We're kind of in the same field. Ish. Not really, but yeah. Alright, let's load up. Right, so we're almost in half now. You've acquired a new weapon, which can. Okay. Yep, yep. I know, I remember the weapon wheel. What do you think? You think I started gaming yesterday? Okay. Carl Sparkles. Let's go. Weapons range depends on the type of weapon. Pistols have short range than rifles. Rifles are ideal for targets. At great distances, yeah. Oh, there's a stiff over here to be examined. What do we have? What have you got, buddy? Not you? Oh, sniper rifle ammo. Don't mind if I do. Let's go. Carl Sparkles. Um, there we go. You know, the horse animation is still really cool. Is hold up. Actually, the visuals in general, um, considering this is an Xbox 360, man, came out in 2006. This town is under attack. In order to sleep here... Oh, God. Those tooltips are way too quick. This town is in dire need of sniper rifle ammo. You can find more ammo... Oh, God. In raining chests in town or by looting some undead. Yeah. Town safety. Hey, love... Oh. That's not quite what we wanted to do, John. That's more like it. So we've got a bar at the top with two dots. Not really sure what the two dots indicate. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I would say so. Let's get our handgun out. Handgun seems to be the ticket. Come on, John. Let's go to work. What have we got here? We have a target rich environment, all right. Ooh, nice. Really rang her bell. Now, what else have we got going on here? We've got more Zeds over there. I'm guessing there's going to be tons of them. Right. 
There we go. It's really going to pay off to practice this fine, fine aiming earlier rather than later. What else have we got? Come on. Where are all the damn Zeds at? There are all the damn Zeds. They're all coming in on the station. Okay. Oh, God. Hello. Ah, whew. Some quick thinking, John. Bloody hell. Look at them. That was a crap shot. That was not a crap shot. And that was a brilliant shot. Okay. I think I'm kind of acclimatizing to the controls now. You don't really think about 360 games and PS3 games kind of aging from a control standpoint, but my god, when you go back to them, it is quite the difference. Oh, you're going to be You know what? I can't get the other guy. You're done. Oh, we're out of dead eye, which is not good. Oh, god. Reload. Where's our shotgun? Trusty shotgun. Ooh. Ooh, that was ugly. Pump out. Under your chin. There we go. Just a little off the top. Hey, buddy. Ooh. You know, I am a fan. Ooh, kill the remaining undead to save the town. Yeah, pretty sure that's what we're doing. Oh, God. Okay. Shotgun is not too fantastic at range. Or at close range, I should say. Which is interesting. You would have thought it would be great. But no. No, it's not. Hey, buddy. Looks like you're late for work. Wearing such a fine suit. And you, my dear, look at the state of you. You really need to clean yourself up. Honestly. People go around looking like anything these days. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah, we go. Ugh. <sighs> That's some fine work, John. That's some fine work indeed. Now, do these guys have anything of merit on them? Ooh, revolver ammo. How is this really low, John? We are harvesting ammo from our enemies. You know, have you never heard to the victor goes the spoils? This is how video games work, John. Shotgun ammo, nice. I really want a pump-action shotgun. I mean, that is the traditional zo anti-zombie weapon. Yeah, shotgun. The double barrel's nice, but the slow reload is a bit of a pain. Nothing on you. Or on you. Tastes like chicken? What? Human meat? Fuck me. I'll have a bowl. See how it goes. Alright, can we... Oh, we can actually climb up with them. Alright, fellas. Oh, I think I remember you. No one got anything to say? Nope, I guess not. Well, I think, to be honest, guys... Yeah, well, I think we're all in a world of our own today. Am I right? I think... You uh, have a good idea there, guys. Get into high ground. That's definitely something we're going to have to have a try at. Next time the horde comes a knocking, we're going to hit the high ground. So, what are these green markers? Uh, apparently, it's above us. Well, this is a fancy building. I remember this from the campaign. Um, can we... How do we get up here? I see. This is a very over-engineered place. I'm going to go upstairs. It's very... John has such a weird weight to his character movement. It's really hard to get used to. I mean, we will get used to it. But I'm glad... Oh, sniper rifle ammo, times 30. I'm glad they ditched that in... Um, and shotgun ammo, 13. Ooh, we got a little bit of everything there. Yeah, I'm glad they changed up the movement um, or like the character physics in GTA 5 because I think this felt great at the time because there's like a nice bit of momentum and stuff. But yeah, it just doesn't feel good now. Okay. 
We're used to a bit more, um, well, characters being much more fluid, should we say, these days. I say that, I say that, but then I remember such gems as the Evil Within One, where your character literally moves like a brick. Um, the Evil Within Two, slightly better, but still a similar deal. Uh, okay, where's our bed? We need us a bed for the night. Get our head down. Let me guess. It's going to be up bloody stairs, isn't it? Of course it is. Why would it be anywhere else apart from up a thousand stairs? Uh, the tallest tower. Ooh, this is swanky. Hmm. Okay. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I thought that was a pickup then. It was just the light coming through the window. Oh, how you can be deceptive, game. Is this our room? Yes, it is. Oh, we can change outfits. What have we got here? This is Marston's typical bounty hunter clothing. A musty old poncho. A souvenir from your travels in Mexico. A worn-out duster. The coat protects your clothing from trail dust. But not much else. Let's go with a duster. I like the duster. Right, my friends, I'm going to save this game here. When we return, we will continue cleansing the West and looking for answers. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.